Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing probably the long awaited what I got for Christmas video. I have filmed this video for years now, I think since the first year I was on YouTube. It's a video that a lot of you guys request each year and this year it is a little bit delayed because I have been miserably sick for four weeks now. As a lot of you guys know, I am currently eight months pregnant as well. So this sickness on top of being pregnant has been my worst nightmare. I promise I will get into the video soon, but I just wanted to preface with like what I've been going through or where I've been and that kind of thing. It started off as a cold literally four weeks ago, and then I guess that just turned into a really bad sinus infection, and then that turned into an ear infection. So it has been crazy. I've been on two antibiotics, been taking medicine as I can, of course, with being pregnant, and it has just taken me out, you guys. Like I have been so tired, so miserable, in pain and just congested. I'm still really, really congested, as I'm sure you guys can tell by my voice, so I apologize about that, but it is what it is. I pulled you guys here on the community tab on YouTube if you wanted to still see the video, and 94% of you said you still wanted to see the video, so I thought I would sit down today and film it since I am feeling a little bit better. I'm still not 100% at all, but I'm getting there, hopefully, fingers crossed. I was able to actually get ready to today a little bit. We're still just like blow dried hair, barely threw on some makeup, but oh well. We're getting the video filmed and that's what matters. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. As always, I do not do this video to brag in any way and I am very, very aware that I am super blessed to receive Christmas gifts at all. And of course, I know that Christmas is not about the materialistic things. I honestly love Christmas. It is my favorite holiday. I just love that we basically celebrate for a whole month and there's so many activities and there's baking and spending lots of time with family and friends. It's just so much fun. And honestly, this entire month I have basically been sick. So that's been really annoying and definitely made me realize that your health is like the biggest gift that you can have because I just was so upset on Christmas day that I was feeling miserable. I was not contagious, so I was still able to go be with my family, but I was miserable and that sucks. You know what I mean? mean. So if you have your health, you guys, you have everything. And if you have your family and your friends, you have everything. So I just like to do this video for fun. Hopefully you guys like watching for fun. And if you do, give it a thumbs up so that I know and subscribe down below if you're not already. And let's just dive into all of the gifts. So we're going to start out with stockings. Stockings are always so much fun. It's just like a bunch of little stuff. And that is like my favorite. And I actually get three stockings, which I know I'm a lucky gal, but my mom makes me a stocking, my husband and my husband's family always does stockings for everyone too. So lots of stocking stuff, so we'll kind of go through it quickly. So we will start off with the stocking from my husband. The biggest stocking stuffer that was in there is this little gadget, which is kind of funny, but I had been mentioning to him that I saw other pregnant girlies using this on Instagram, but basically it is something that allows you to pick things up without bending down, and bending down hurts my back so much, and like my belly, if like I do it consistently. So I'm definitely going to be using this, especially as much as I'm going to be cleaning up in the nursery and around the house. It actually has a thing on the back where you can use it to put your shoes on too, which is kind of funny. He also got me some of my favorite no-show socks, these cute little pastel highlighters that I can use in my notebooks for next year, a few different gift cards to my favorite places to go, like Target, Chick-fil-A, and Starbucks. I frequent these locations often. Also in my stocking from him, we had Lifesaver gummies and these little miniature Oreo bites that I had really been craving, but I already ate both of those. It's been a little bit since Christmas, but yes, during my sickness laying on the couch, I've already eaten both of those, so they're not here to show, and I think that's all in my stocking from him, I want to say. So let's move on to the one from my mom. We just have some fuzzy items, fuzzy socks, and this little cute fuzzy beanie. A couple cute little kitchen items. This is like a little sloth scrubber, and then these are little farm animal chip clips. We have some macaroons that look really yummy. This shower gel from Target, which looks like it's going to smell really great. The one thing that sucks about a lot of the stuff in my stocking is it's all like smell good stuff, and I don't really have a sense of smell right now. And it's not COVID, by the way. It's just with a sinus infection, your smell can kind of go away sometimes, and I don't really have a sense of smell right now, which really makes me upset about this next item. This is the 
Labo travel set. It comes with two of their fragrances, another 13 and Centol 33. My mom bought another 13 when we were in New York and I loved it on her. So I'm really excited to have a sample for myself. And then Centol 33, I put on that day, but I wasn't completely sure about if I liked it or not. So I'm excited to have a travel size so that I can test it out more. Then we have some ColourPop eyeshadow and a little Burt's Bees set. And I think the last thing in that stocking was this refillable nourishing hand sanitizer, which is so interesting. And it's like really, really slim and compact. So I'm really excited about this. I've actually been needing hand sanitizer because I don't want to get sick anymore. And I like that this one will fit anywhere. Okay, last stocking is from my in-laws. So we have some more fuzzy socks, which I always love. Some more gift cards to my favorite places, Nordstrom, Taco Bell, and Starbucks. Some cute little baking goodies, a rubber spatula, and a little sprinkle set. This Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Shower Gel, which also sounds like it smells really good. It is orange and ginger. I love anything orange scented. And then lastly, I'm pretty sure this gold frame was in my stocking. Sometimes like when you get home, all the gifts get kind of like mixed up, but I'm pretty sure this was in my stocking. They have pretty big stockings there, but I love gold. They know that. And I can always use gold frames. I might actually put this in the nursery. Okay, moving on to the actual like bigger gifts. I'll start with what my husband got me. First of all, he got me a Fitbit. I had been wanting a Fitbit, which is like so random. I feel like that's like very 2010, but I have had an Apple watch for years and I don't really wear it a ton because I'm not that kind of person that wants a big bulky Apple watch on with a cute outfit. I just feel like it looks very bulky, very Apple watch, you know? Even though they have different bands that you can switch in and out, I still always felt like it was just like super obvious and bulky on my wrist. So that was one reason why I really didn't know if I wanted to go the Apple watch route again because my Apple watch is like done for. It's really old, barely holds a charge. It just doesn't really work anymore. And another thing was the price because if I don't wear it a ton, then why would I either pay myself or ask someone else to pay 600 plus dollars for an Apple watch? So I was like, you know what? I think I would like a Fitbit for 2023. And if I wear that consistently, maybe one day I'll go back to the Apple watch. But for now we're doing the Fitbit life. So far I like it. I've been wearing it ever since Christmas. Obviously I've not been moving a lot. I've literally gotten like 1,500 steps a day, but I have been using it to track my sleep and it's really nice. I really like how small it is. As you can see, I have it stacked with a couple bracelets and it's just really slim and compact and it still does all the things that I like. It obviously tracks your workouts. It tracks your sleeping, your stress, your water intake. It even tracks your menstrual cycles if you wanted to do that. So, so pretty much it does everything I wanted to and it was like significantly cheaper and I won't feel as bad if I do only end up wearing it to work out. So he got me that and he also got me another little band for it. This one is just like a fancier band that I can put on it if I want to dress it up a little bit. This one is more like of a rose gold though. It's still cute. It's cuter than the silicone one. And one thing to note about this video is most of this stuff I specifically requested or asked for on an Amazon wish list. So every year my family, my husband's family, and my husband and myself exchange an Amazon wish list. All across the board we just find that that is easier and more effective. I would just much rather get someone something that they like. If I decide to get them a surprise on top of that, I will, but I at least want to get them something that they actually want or need. So that's what we do. So I create one big Amazon wish list and share it with everyone who asks for it. And one tip, by the way, you can actually add stuff to your Amazon wish list that's not from Amazon if you use Google Chrome. Just Google how to do it. I'll maybe try to put a link below. The only thing is Amazon won't automatically remove those items so you do have to be careful when it comes to duplicate gifts. There's a link to shop directly to the item that you want for any website and you can add notes and sizes and anything like that. So it's very convenient. Anyways, next up, my husband also got me this little pouch that says baby. This was on my Amazon list for a while. Pretty much I just think this is going to be cute stuck in the diaper bag to put anything that I want to keep organized, maybe wipes or whatever I end up putting in here. I'm not sure, but I thought it was cute. It kind of looks like the Stony Clover Lane patch bag and it's actually bigger than I thought it was too, which is nice. Another kind of like smaller gift from him is this little dust cover for my Cricut machine. Right now my Cricut just sits on top of like a drawer organizer. So I wanted something to just kind of keep over top of it. And this one is really nice because it actually has pockets here as well. So you can put like your tools or anything you want in here to just keep it all in one place. I've been using my Cricut a ton lately. So this will definitely come in handy and I'm excited to get that all organized. 
And then he also got me this little diffuser that is sitting behind me. This is by the brand Veluspa. And I've been eyeing this for a while now, specifically because it is one of the only battery operated diffusers that I've seen. And it's really, really pretty. I just wanted a diffuser that I could sit in the center of my coffee table and not in like a corner somewhere because it has to be plugged up. So this one is going to be perfect. This is what it looks like. It is so chic looking. It is a little bit smaller than expected, like especially the water tank. So we will have to see, but maybe it's just like super powerful. And I don't really think that I'm going to need it to run for like hours and hours and hours. Like it's not like a humidifier. I just, you know, want to get the scent in the room. I'll have to look up, of course, what diffuser oils are pet and baby safe. So if you guys have any recommendations, leave them in the comments below. But I'm super excited about this. And I believe this is the last thing from my husband. And this is a base makeup bag. I have been on a base kick lately. They're basically a luggage or travel kind of brand. Like they make a lot of bags and tote bags and backpacks and any kind of bag or organizational item. They have it pretty much. And their color schemes are usually pretty neutral. And they always have a lot of like really unique and innovative concepts with their products. He had recently gotten me a piece of the base luggage for my birthday. And then I bought the matching bigger piece of luggage. So I have the luggage set now and I wanted a couple pieces to complement that travel system. And I had really been wanting a new makeup case that was kind of like leather or just easier to clean and sturdier. So this one I really like. It has a handle up top. It is the same beige leather that my suitcases are in. And you just unzip it here. And it actually comes with a mirror that you can slide out and open. So if you're on vacation, you always have a mirror right there, which is great. This little flap here holds your makeup brushes and it has a little zipper compartment up here as well. And one thing I like about this is that it's actually magnetic. So you can actually just take it off and lay it on your counter so you can see your brushes and your makeup both at the same time. And then here is the large area that you can store your makeup. So very, very convenient little product and definitely something I will get a ton of use out of. All right, next we will move on to the gifts from my family. My aunt got me one of these really cute Amazon gift cards that is in this like adorable glam packaging. It makes me want to like save this packaging because how freaking cute is this? Like, oh my goodness, adorable. So I'm so excited about that. And any Amazon gift cards will definitely be put to good use. I feel like I place an Amazon order once every few days, especially now like doing the nursery and getting baby stuff. My cousin got me several things I have been wanting from my wish list. First is a new camera battery. I have been fighting with my camera battery for weeks and I needed a new one. This is a little microphone for my iPhone, which is amazing because I do actually film on my iPhone quite a bit when I'm vlogging. But the one thing about it is that the microphone sucks on the iPhone. So this you literally just plug into the bottom and it is actually supposed to provide a nicer quality sound. So I'm really, really excited to try that out. I want to very, very soon. And then she also got me this makeup brush holder, which matches all of the other neutral stuff that I have. So like it literally looks like it goes perfectly with the makeup bag and it's just a silicone material, but it actually has a magnet here, which is kind of cool and it'll hold some of your makeup brushes. From my longtime best friend, Amber, who also ended up marrying my cousin. So now she's like family and a friend. She got me several cute things. As I mentioned, my husband and I are expecting our first baby girl in February. So I got a lot of like mom and baby related gifts. She got us this little frame, which is so cute. You can actually do their footprint and their handprint with this little thing that is supposed to be inkless. So it's actually supposed to be like no hassle, no cleanup, that kind of thing. So I'm very interested to test this out. And then of course you can put your baby's picture in there. So that will be an adorable little thing to do once she's here. If you guys are a follower of my channel, this will be the first big, big hint at what our baby girl's name is. And it is just a cute gold necklace with the letter G on it. That is the first initial of my daughter's first name. So yeah, there you go. You just got a big hint if you are watching this video, but I love that. That is something I will wear all the time. And then she also just got me some Ghirardelli peppermint bark squares, which I will absolutely be diving into soon. And some of these shower steamers in the calm scent, which is really cool and exciting because I have the stress ones, which are like stress relief. They're almost gone though. And I don't have the calm ones. I've never tried them before. So I'm excited to try these. Oh, I almost left these out, but she also got these, which are so cute. I had actually contemplated buying these myself, but honestly, I was just like, eh, I don't know if I want to spend the money on it right now because she will have to grow into this, but these are mommy and me beanie 
beanies from Walmart. I think they are so cute. Like I said, I've been eyeing them. I love a good palm beanie. This one is like neutral for me and it has like the white band but the neutral hat. And then it has this one for your daughter. So cute or your son, whatever, in the opposite colors but they match and this one has a double pom pom. I hope that she can wear these soon. It does look kind of big but either way, I will definitely hold on to these until she can wear it. Although my husband was joking and he was like, if she has a big head like you, she might be able to wear it sooner than you think. So I don't know, maybe that's the case. And the rest of the things from my family are in this bag right here, which was actually a gift from my mom. I will say my mom always goes like way overboard on me. I think it's just because we're like very similar. So anything she sees, she's like, oh, Kayla would like that. But she got me this base weekender bag, which I had asked for because it matches my luggage set. Like I was talking about earlier. This thing is so nice though. It has a leather part here on the bottom and you can actually unzip it and this can hold your shoes here. I love this because it's like a sturdy bottom and on the back it does have this part where you could either use it as a pocket or you can unzip it and use it as a pass for your luggage handle. And then you just have the front pocket, the nice big handles, and this part is actually very structured as well. When you open it, it actually expands to be like a square, which is so convenient. You can see everything. You can fit your laptop in here really nicely. Inside, it actually has a padded laptop compartment. This is like a key strap, so you can hook your keys onto it so they don't get lost. And then we have some other pockets on the other side. So lots of very functional features. I am just so excited to use this on my next trip. Another thing from my mom that I'm so excited about is this little bag organizer from the brand Tote Savvy. I wanted this very badly because I have seen so many good things about this. It's literally just a bag organizer, but it has so many different compartments and you just fill it up with all your stuff. And then when you want to switch tote bags, you can easily just take this out and put it into another tote bag. My mom actually got me a Stony Clover Lane tote bag for my birthday and it is just open inside. There's like no pockets or anything. So I think I'm primarily going to use this in that bag if I want to use that bag for a diaper bag or something. But you could also just use this for your work bag or anything. But yeah, it just has tons of different pockets for water bottles, pens, your phone, anything that you need. And it actually comes with like a little changing pad here as well if you wanted to use it as a diaper bag. But yeah, just so many pockets. Up here we actually even have a zipper pocket. This looks like it would be great for a water bottle of some kind. And then this here would be perfect for an iPad or a laptop or something and it is padded with like a fleece material on the inside. So yeah, a super convenient gift that is going to keep me much more organized. My bigger kind of gift from my mom, and I say my mom, it's really I guess from both of my parents, but we all know who does the shopping, you know? But this is from Gucci and this is like the one thing that I like specifically asked her for because I've really been needing a new card case. Mine is like super old from Kate Spade, the zipper is broken and it's something that I use every single day. So I really wanted a nice one and their packaging is just amazing I love the little box and all their stuff came with this little bag too. That's like the Constellations, you know what I mean? But here is what the card case looks like. I Love this thing you guys. I'm so excited about this and like I said This is absolutely something that I will use every single day One thing I love about this one that my last one didn't have is that this actually has a keychain So you can put it on your keys. So I just have to grab have one thing before I run out the door and that's it. And then it just has exactly the same as my last one did. A couple slots on either side and I liked that this one had a zipper pocket as well for cash. So yeah, this was kind of like my big gift from her. Very, very thankful to have received this. I also love that it's black. My last one was like a light pink and it got really, really dirty. So this one will probably be a lot more durable too. This next gift is a perfect example of my mom going a little overboard, but I'm very thankful. I definitely do not need everything that she gifts me, but it's always very appreciated. But this is another Gucci product. She was like, I hope you like these. I just saw them and picked them out and thought you would like them. And honestly, you can't go wrong. Anything Gucci honestly is probably up my alley. But first of all, the packaging of this is just stunning. Like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. So these are a pair of earrings and they come in this little pouch. And this is what they look like. Hopefully you guys can see that. But it just has the like rhinestone double G at the top. And then it just has like the little black gemstone dropping from the earring. I love these though. Like when she was like, I hope you like them. I was like, oh my God, I love them. They're so pretty. Like this is something that I'm going to wear all the time because I always wear black. And I love that they are kind of like dainty, but also a statement at the same time. Like they really don't take up a lot of room on your ear, but they're still a little 
little bit dangly and sparkly and I'm just obsessed with them so my mom just knows me so well and both of us love designer we love designer jewelry shoes sunglasses and purses like any accessories like we're all about it so yeah she definitely did good there and I'm obsessed with those and lastly from my mom she also got me a couple of things from the beautiful by Drew Barrymore line at Walmart I really wanted to just kind of revamp my kitchen or at least start revamping my kitchen with this line specifically because it's white and gold it's beautiful it matches our kitchen in my opinion a lot of what we use is gold and it's just gorgeous and a lot of these things we needed to upgrade anyways so the first thing is this really big pan so this is a five and a half quart saute pan my husband and I have one pan like this it's a Kathlon pan which we absolutely won't get rid of but this is very similar to that as far as the sizing and it is our most used pan so I know we will probably use this one as well and this one is pretty enough to kind of keep out on our gas range and use it almost as decor as well so yeah very excited about it I know you can't really see what the top looks like but here's the gold handle and I believe it also has like a white and gold lid and then this one is a little bit more difficult to show but she also got us the crock pot which is also white and gold and she had actually gotten herself this crock pot too because I went over their house a few days before and she was using it and I was like oh my gosh it's even prettier in person it's a lot bigger than the crock pot my husband and I have and I love that it has the lid holder on it as well so I was like pleasantly surprised and my dad almost blew it because he was like oh yeah don't you like yours and I was like I don't have one but anyways and then he got kind of awkward and then I kind of knew that they were probably getting me this for Christmas but I'm so excited about this we actually use our crock pot quite a bit and we're probably gonna start using it more with a baby because we want some easy dinners and I believe that's everything from my mom so if not I'll come back to something later but I think that's everything from her she definitely spoils everyone for Christmas so my sister-in-laws on that side of the family also got a couple things for baby girl we don't exchange gifts with my siblings but we do always exchange gifts for the kids so I have three nephews two from one brother one from another brother so I got their kids gifts and so I wasn't expecting it but they also got our baby a couple gifts which was really nice one of my sister-in-laws just got a couple decor pieces for the nursery which are actually already hung up so I can't show you that but my other sister-in-law got us a couple cute things too this is just like a little fuzzy zip up cute little outfit oh my god you guys how adorable is this it has the little hood like I'm so excited to put her in stuff like this she's due February 14th so it probably will still be very cold this will definitely come in handy then we have a little teether and some cute little bows and then she also got me this book that says I brushed my hair today it's a mom journal that is just kind of about like you're doing the best you can and being proud of what you do accomplish kind of thing and I believe that is everything from my side of the family so lastly let's move into Patrick's side of the family I believe this was actually also in my stocking but this is a candle once again I can't really smell it right now but this is one of my favorite candle brands it is the Chesapeake Bay Candle Company and they always have really good smelling stuff so I'm excited about that his parents got me and I guess kind of Patrick because he'll probably wear this as well sometimes but this is the Ergo Baby 360 baby carrier. I'm very excited about this. This is a pretty pricey baby carrier. So to receive it as a gift is always amazing. And I have a feeling I'm going to be definitely a baby carrier mom. I like to just be on the go. So I can see myself using this quite a lot. I know my husband will want to wear this as well. So yeah, we're both super excited about it. It's just in a neutral color. This might sound super silly, but I felt like this color was great because it'll go with like any color that I'm wearing, whether it be like dark colors or light colors, this will be fine. But I've heard amazing things about this baby carrier and it can fit all different kinds of positions and all different size babies as well. Like it can kind of grow with them. So that's amazing. They also got me this cute Amazon gift card as well and another Amazon gift card, which like I said, Amazon gift cards you can't go wrong with. I actually already used one of them to place another order this morning. More like smell good home stuff. They also got me this Pura diffuser set that I had on my list, which I am so excited about. I've heard so many good things about these and I've never tried one so I thought this year would be the year but these actually plug into your wall and you have diffuser oils that go with them and you can actually control it with an app on your phone so you can mess with the intensity or turn it off or on whatever you want so I feel like these are going to be a lot more efficient if you will than the wallflowers I currently use I'm sure I'll still use the wallflowers but this will be nice for like our main living space this little set comes with one of the Pura diffusers and then two of the refills that are actually from the brand Capri Blue which is like one of my favorite candle companies 
Hermes that is sold at like Anthropology and Nordstrom. So I'm very excited to test this out and have our home smelling nice and fresh and good. And then his parents also were going to get me a really nice ring that I had on my list, which was like so unnecessary. It was pretty pricey. And they said my size sold out. So they actually just got a bunch of Visa gift cards to cover the cost of it, which was so, so sweet because I wear a gold ring on my right hand every day, but I usually buy ones that are like 10 bucks and they don't last very long. So I just wanted like a nice, a semi nicer one. Like it's not 100% real gold. That would be like thousands, but you know, it's like a few hundred dollars, nice ring that'll hopefully last a lot longer than the ones that I currently wear. So that was like super thoughtful and I will absolutely be saving that money to invest in a nice gold ring. Everything's kind of getting mixed up here, but the last few things, my sister-in-law Emily and her husband, Patrick's brother, got me this cute little set for me and baby. This is the little onesie that says mini. And then here is the tie-dye shirt that says mama. So adorable. I love the neutral colors. I love the tie-dye. I love the smiley faces. So we will definitely be taking a little picture in that. And then she also got me this little dainty necklace that has a butterfly on it because she knows I like butterflies, which I do. I love them. And this will be like the perfect layering necklace. Patrick's other brother and his fiance got us another item from the Beautiful by Drew Barrymore line. This is the toaster. Once again, it's just white and gold. Our toaster sits out on our counter and it is just like not the cutest thing in the world. And it's just like a cheap one we got four years ago and it is just, you know, kind of pitiful. So I saw this one and thought it would be a nice upgrade. This one is just super pretty and it matches the other stuff that my mom got us. And lastly, we have gifts from Patrick's sister and her boyfriend. So she got me a new Echo Dot, which I had been wanting because the one in our bedroom is really, really, really acting up. It is so old. It is the first Echo Dot I ever bought. I don't even think they sell that generation anymore because it's so old. So I just wanted an upgraded one because we do use that Echo Dot to turn on our bedroom lights and do a lot of other stuff. So yeah, I'm super excited about this to have an upgrade. And this one you can actually use as an alarm clock. It has the time on it and everything. So I'll either put this on my nightstand or Patrick's, either one. She also got me some mama stuff. So this is just a cute little necklace that says mama, which I love. Once again, a great layering necklace. And then this is just a cute little keychain with an orange tassel, which she got kind of because it was in the colors of my college, which is Virginia Tech, which we all live very close to. And she's a tech fan too. So she of course had to get me something tech related. And speaking of which, she also got baby girl her first Virginia Tech item, which is a little bow. I mean, that is so cute. It's just a stretchy little headband that has the VT symbol on it. So yeah, that is super cute. She will have to wear this when she watches her first Virginia Tech football game. And then she also just got me another little mom journal, which is really cute as well. It's just about like embracing imperfection as a new mom and stuff like that. And a little set of different teas, which is actually really cool because I've really been on my tea game lately and making tea almost every night. So I will definitely use those as well. But I believe that is about everything. So much stuff, you guys, like absolutely so thankful and blessed for every single person in my life who thought of me to get me a gift this year. It's just amazing. And like I said, I'm just more so thankful to have those people in my life in general, regardless of the gifts or anything. I'm super happy I got to spend Christmas with everybody and it's crazy that it's over. And then now we have like a month and then it's baby time, you know? So our life is about to get so crazy. But anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's just kind of like a fun and casual video to watch. So hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, like I said, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Let me know what you guys ended up getting for Christmas or what gifts you gave for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever holiday you celebrate. And yeah, that is about it. So I will talk to you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye.